guys, thank you for coming back and clicking on the video again. Today I'm going to compare two pieces, a Ballin' on a Budget and the Real Deal versions of basically the same design almost. And I'm going to compare them on, I'm going to compare this no label purse. Well, I just discovered that there is a label. <laughs> and um, my Alexander Wang. So I'm going to start off with this guy and... The label is actually INZI. They're like large tote, retails for like $105. So I'm sure this was probably around $75 to $60. I purchased it on consignment for $26.99, but I did have store credit of $10, so it was really only $16.99. So I'm going to compare the three things based on quality, design, and comfort. So for the orange bag, I give it a 9 out of no, wait, sorry, I'm reading the wrong one. Oh, 7.5 out of 10. I have my notes here, so if I keep looking down, I apologize. Um, so I give this guy a 7.5 out of 10 for quality because the full, the full leather is good. Like, it's decent. It hasn't peeled just yet, um, but the corners here are kind of... They're not all that damaged yet but it's almost there and the um, stitching here I don't know if you guys can see that is coming out the thread there is slowly but surely coming out also here throughout the purse I mean obviously it's I would definitely never ever pay $75 for this at retail but considering I only paid 16 bucks for it I can't really complain this also had a previous owner since it was consignment but when it was consigned it was basically brand new there was nothing um none of this thread here coming out of it can you guys see that there so um and i've been wearing this wearing the heck out of this so it's only been about a month though so we'll see how it goes the next couple months i'm gonna probably wear it throughout um, all the way throughout the season up to fall um but one thing i want to point out on this guy is the fringe here it is falling apart. Hold on. Look at that. You see that? Der, 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 der. It's peeling apart, obviously because it's not real leather. Duh. That they're not really going to stay. I guess they tried to like melt them together, but that didn't really work out. And for me, it's really actually really fun to peel them apart. It's like satisfying. So it's really, I'm trying not to do it, but when I'm like just sitting on my purse on my lap, I'm like playing with it. I don't even realize that I'm tearing my purse apart. And also the lining in the inside of the bag is very thin, but it's not a very good quality bag. So that's, didn't really expect a very durable lining. As for the design, I give it a 8.0 because I love the two-in-one concept. It's super awesome. You can take out the bag, there, have a little crossbody, or you can have the whole shebang, but I never, ever, ever wear it without the crossbody part, so. Yeah, because I don't really use it as a handbag. Um, but one annoying part of the design is the flappy straps here. It's like, they're, it, they're too they're so big for the size purse it's basically more than half the strap is like more than half of the length or the top, the height of the actual bag which is annoying oh it tilts over a lot when i'm trying to pick it up for some reason i don't know why maybe it's the dimensions of the bag i couldn't tell you i'm not a purse engineer so and see how these look at these they just look terrible and sad and they're in my way when I'm trying to get in the bag, so that's why I give it an 8 out of 10. But it can fit a lot, so I stuff the heck out of the bag. You don't even want to know. As for the comfort, I do give it at a 10 out of 10 because it's very lightweight. And it's very, um, the strap is a perfect little length for um, just to have it over your shoulder. Or you can lengthen it to have it as an actual crossbody. So it makes it very comfortable to wear around every day. Um, and the again the purse itself is very very light so it, when you pack on more stuff in there it's not really all that big of a deal for me personally so it's a good everyday um walking around bag overall i would rate this bag probably let me average out the points let me see maybe that's how i'll rate it overall isn't that how it works oh, 25.5 
divided by 3 averages out for an 8.5, which I agree with. So 8.5 for you, buddy. Now let's move on to the next My bag. Alexander Wang Rocco bag. Which I will treasure for the rest of my life. I'm going to tell you that. Um, I purchased this on consignment, of course. What's new? I would never pay $1,000 for this. Because I ain't got money like that. Um, the black, like, classic Rocco is still available to purchase on their website for $9.95. But this green one, just nowhere to be found. Wow, I'm assuming it's a little costs a little bit more than $9.95 because it's such a rare color, but who knows? It's around a thousand dollars. That's all I have to say. Um, but I did not pay not even half of half of that. I paid less than three hundred. Hey bird, shut up. Thank you. Really? I paid less. Oh my gosh, my battery's flashing. I paid less than half. Um, paid less than three hundred dollars for this because it was on consignment. For quality, I give it a nine out of ten. It's a great leather. It's a great texture. I love how durable the leather feels. But the downside is the zippers are very stiff. So, especially the side ones here that are like hidden right there they're very stiff and hard to open and close but that could be because i don't use it often i don't um move it around too often so that's probably why it gets pretty stiff but yeah that's why i give it a 9.5 but overall it's a great purse obviously if you're gonna pay a thousand dollars for it it has to be an amazing quality otherwise i would be very very angry as for design amazing i give it a 10 out of 10 because i love how sporty it looks you know like they followed through with the seams here which is a really, really nice detail for me personally. It makes it look a little more casual and not so poshy like. Um, the gold hardware, I keep picking up. Let me, like I did with the other one, let me just keep it on my lap. Um, I love the hardware that they chose because it is not a very harsh gold. It's not a yellowy gold. It's very sheer like. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, that was a loud one. Anyway, the gold is very easy to accessorize with because it's such a soft gold that you can get away with wearing silver jewelry with it because you can't really, really like, oh my god, it's so gold. Like, I don't like m mixing metals all that much, so it makes it easier for me to accessorize with this, which was an A plus for me. And as for comfort, I do give it a 9 out of 10 because it's very, very, very heavy. Like, look at these studs. Like, hello, heavy central. Like, it's, it's not definitely not your practical everyday bag. I have worn it as an everyday bag before, but I'm, I swear I complain about how heavy it is every single day because it really does, like, weigh down your shoulder. I'm like, this half the time I'm carrying it around. Um, so I can only carry it as an everyday bag for such a for a certain period of time um and that's why it makes it uncomfortable for me some people they are strong enough to withhold this extra weight but when i have all my crap in here it's just it's very heavy like i always have to make david carry my purse so yeah especially when i'm carrying this like i wore it to my birthday on like when i went to new york oh lord i could not walk around new york with this freaking bag it was so damn heavy you have no idea so yeah and let me average out all the points for this guy plus nine divided by three it's 9.5 which seems very accurate to me i do really prefer this bag versus the um orange one but if i had to choose for practicality i would definitely go with the orange bag because of the different compartments in it and how light it is this one just one big dome um and like one little pocket but it does have a convenience of like the outside um compartment so it's easy access for like your per for your cell phone or lipsticks you're wearing that day but um, I would still definitely go with the orange one because it has more space for you to be able to separate things in your purse and it's a lot more like pleasant to carry around if you are going to walk a long distance. But yeah, so the winner for this round for practicality would be this guy right here. Um, as for everything else <laughs> would be the Alexander Wang. Like I, I would never, I'll never let that purse go. So 
yeah so that brings us to the end of my balling on a budget versus the real deal video this was really fun i think the next time i'm going to compare some prada sunglasses and some very cheapo plastic ones um so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching i'll see you guys next sunday or no i'll see you guys wednesday bye I'm making noise and no on the next one I think I'm dang our flush is loud <laughs>